in this video we'll try to understand the concept of low latency queuing no latin low latency queuing is going to combine the functionality of the priority queuing which is a legacy priority queuing method along with the class based weighted fair queuing now in the previous section if you remember we discussed a class based weighted fair queuing now in the case of class based weighted fair queuing it's going to provide a minimum bandwidth guaranteed at the time of congestion now we are going to define with a bandwidth command saying that in case if there is any congestion i am going to say that icmp traffic should be given guaranteed 128 kbps of bandwidth and in case if there is no congestion in that case they can use excess of the bandwidth but that is a minimum bandwidth guaranteed now similar way we can define a specific classes each and every class we can define a specific guaranteed bandwidth now all the packets are or send based on the bandwidth defined and no packets will be given any priority now one of the major drawback with this class based weighted fair queuing is it is going to add delay to some of the sense to traffic like voice traffic so let's say you got a voice traffic here and even though we defined some some uh, guaranteed bandwidth for the voice now there is a possibility that the voice packets may get delayed uh, may get delayed that is something we don't want now the major drawback with the class based weighted fair queuing is it is going to uh, have some issues with applications like voice traffic that cannot tolerate the delay or jitter now to fix this the low latency queuing is going to provide a strict priority queuing reducing the delay and jitter in the case of voice communications now what it, what we can do is we, we are going to use the same class based weighted fair queuing as if we did in the previous section where we are going to define a minimum guaranteed bandwidth by using some bandwidth option and also we are going to define a separate class and that particular class we are going to match a voice traffic and we are going to define a guaranteed uh, we are going to define a priority of the particular uh, for the voice traffic we are going to define a priority maybe whatever the bandwidth now once we define the priority for the voice traffic it's going to guarantee the maximum amount of bandwidth to the to the voice with a high priority now this will ensure that your voice traffic is not queued it it should be sent first before it actually sends the other classification of the traffic now the main advantage we get with the low latency queuing is it reduces the latency and the jitter for the voice communications now let's see the configuration wise there's no much difference in the uh, when you compare with the class based weighted fair queuing we are still going to use the other traffics like icmp http and ftp uh, based on the class based weighted fair queuing and we are going to define the minimum guaranteed bandwidth for the particular uh, for the particular traffic but the only difference is here we are going to match the voice traffic uh, i'm getting i'm getting an access list which is going to match the udp port numbers from 16384 to 32767 used used by the voice traffic and i'm going to define them in a class map and then here i'm going to just use a command called priority now once we define a command called priority instead of bandwidth it's going to guarantee the maximum amount of bandwidth as a priority traffic now it's going to be high priority traffic than this one now how how the bandwidth and priority is going to differ now whenever you define the priority option here it's going to allocate the amount of bandwidth in case of kbps like if i'm going to define as 256 kbps it's going to give the priority of 256 kbps of bandwidth and it will ensure that it should be forwarded immediately immediately and whatever the traffic exceeds like in case of any congestion let's say um whenever you define any specific traffic as a priority and in case if there is no congestion probably anything exceeding this uh, bandwidth is going to be sent as a normal traffic without any prioritization but whereas in case if there is in congestion it's going to implement some strict policing where it is going to drop the excess of the traffic now the dropping of the now excess of the traffic it all depends upon what kind of priority we are giving so let's say i'm going to define 256 kbps as a priority traffic and once it reaches this limit once it reaches the limit if there is a congestion probably it is going to drop the excess of the traffic that's what that's what it is going to do strict policing it is going to do if it exceeds and if there is a congestion now if it exceeds if there is no congestion in those kind of scenarios it's going to still forward the traffic 
but without priority. Now it's going to be treated as, as a normal other traffic, like it's going to treat for other classes. Now again, we can define either based on a specific amount of bandwidth or we can define in terms of percentage. Like let's say if I'm using 1000 kbps of bandwidth and if I'm defining the 10% of the priority traffic, it's going to use 100 kbps, that is the 10% of the complete interface bandwidth. Now the major difference between these two options like in case of class based weighted fair queuing, we are going to use a bandwidth command whereas in case of priority we are going to use a priority command. And the major difference is in both the cases it's going to guarantee the minimum bandwidth. Uh, when, when we define any specific bandwidth it's they are going to get the minimum of that particular bandwidth and in case of bandwidth command there's no maximum bandwidth guarantee so it can use excess of the bandwidth it depends but there's no maximum of the bandwidth it can utilize but whereas in case of priority we can we can define like like we are going to define 256 kbps of bandwidth priority and that is a maximum bandwidth it can utilize if there is a congestion and anything excess it will be dropped but in case of a uh, bandwidth command we are not going to do that now whereas when we give a priority command it's going to have built-in policing uh, policing means it's simply anything exceeding it's going to drop but whereas in case of bandwidth, anything exceeding whatever we define, it's not going to drop here. Okay, uh, it's going to be delayed or, or so it's, it will try its best to forward, but it can drop in the end. But anything exceeds here, it's going to drop in case of priority options. And the major advantage we get the priority option is it's going to add very low latency, especially your voice traffic, which which has to be forwarded immediately without any latency. That is guaranteed here but whereas here there is a possibility of delay now configuration wise we can get into the command line and you can verify the same only the difference is we just define a priority option here instead of using the bandwidth uh, when it comes to configuration it's, it's the same thing 